See, it's not every day you hear about a suspect getting spotted by a drone. That's exactly what happened in Middleton today, thanks to an eye in the sky. When the Middleton Fire Department's battalion chief, Randy Aker, heard police were looking for a suspect, his thoughts instantly went to the drone sitting at the station. Suggested contacting PD dispatch and see if they would be interested in having us uh, deploy our drone to fly over the pond to see if we could search for the suspect. Finding anything near Tiedemann's Pond is no easy task. With swampy areas and cattails, it was the perfect hiding spot. Police also had canine units on scene, so it's hard to say how long it would have taken. Weighing in at less than three pounds, the flying machine provided Middleton police with a perspective they wouldn't have had from the ground. Middleton Fire Chief Aaron Harris was manning the controls. Kind of a technical flight with a lot of uh, not areas to land because of the cattails and water plus trees. So a lot was going through my mind as far as this is a very technical flight and we're looking for somebody that potentially could be hiding within that um, area. Less than 10 minutes into the flight, Chief Harris spotted what they were looking for embedded in a tall area of cattails. Looked at a signature on the display screen, thought it looked like it could be a human being laying down in the cattails, showed it to one of the uh, police officers that were uh, working with me, and sure enough, they said that's that's the individual we're looking for. Harris says today's incident was just one of many uses for the device. For that reason, they're looking to expand the collection. Without a helicopter and airplane in the air, we're now able to efficiently and effectively put something up in the air to look out over us. Today, it just was uh, helping the Middleton police. The Middleton Fire Department is looking for ways to keep both people and firefighters safe by thinking outside of the box with modern technology. As for the suspects, the name hasn't been released, but police say there's no threat to the public while the investigations continue.